This time on Bulletproof Tactical, we're gonna take a look at the High Point C9. This is probably the most affordable firearm out there right now. A lot of people have been asking me to make a review on this firearm. Why? Because it's obviously appealing, it's really affordable, so we're gonna take a closer look at it, we're gonna shoot it, and I'll give you guys my overall opinion. Continue watching. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's review. The High Point C9. A lot of viewers were requesting this firearm because it's really affordable, and honestly, there's so much demand for firearms right now. So let's go ahead and start with a price point. This firearm cost me a total of $179 plus taxes. That was with my own money, so everything I say about this firearm is legit. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Let's first safety check the firearm. You guys can see it is clear. And quick note, the slide won't lock back unless the magazine is not inserted. So that's another one of the things I don't like about this firearm. But we'll get to that in a minute. And uh, you guys can see we get a ghost ring rear sight. You can go ahead and install that in a video if you guys want to. And you guys get a tool to disassemble a firearm. So not a good sign every time you get a tool to disassemble your firearm. Uh, you know, most firearms are, you know, usually being, you can disassemble them with no tools required. So the fact that they send you a little tool for that means it's going to be a little more complicated than most firearms. We get a lube sample and our booklets. So you guys can see only one magazine is included. I mean, what else do you expect for $179? This is an eight round mag. So a total of nine if you carry it loaded. Oh yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention, you can only rack the slide forward once again if the mag is out of the firearm. So we're going to get a magazine release only on one side. It's not ambidextrous. Safety on one side, not ambidextrous. And we're going to get a feature that's called magazine disconnect. You're not able to fire the firearm if the magazine is not inserted. Once you insert the magazine, that safety mechanism is disengaged so not my favorite type of mechanism by far especially not if you're barely getting into firearms this makes clearing malfunctions and operating the firearm a little bit more complicated uh, let's go ahead and compare the size of this firearm with a glock 19 just so you guys can get an idea of the size because it is a, a pretty bulky firearm glock 19s are known to be a bit bulky so you guys can see pretty much same dimensions but obviously the slide on this is just massive. You guys can see the slide difference. You know, it's just absolutely massive. You can even feel the weight of that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the sights. You guys can see you get two red dots and one orange blade sight in the front. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, you get some nice cocking serrations in the rear. None of them in the front, and you know you guys can just see the attention to detail is is pretty bad. You know you get a whole bunch of grooves here. It's not polished. You know the plastic looks pretty rough. You guys can see kind of seems like they grinded that down. You know maybe the the molds leave some uh, plastic material there, and they probably just shave it off quick uh, definitely not a firearm that has a attention to detail but we do get some serrations here in the back also in the front kind of seems like we have some finger grooves going right here uh, it's a comfortable firearm but the grips are really slippery so who knows how how good that would be if your hands are wet sweaty maybe even bloody um, let's go ahead and uh, do a trigger pull so you guys can get an idea of how the trigger is 
I mean, it sounds really funny, but... Yeah, it sounds really funny. You guys can even hear the... I don't know if the microphone can pick up that noise, but it kind of sounds like a piggy bank. You know, you get a lot of noise coming from the firearm. Really massive slide. You guys can see it right here. Really, really massive slide. So I, I'm curious to see how the recoil is going to react to that. You know, um, 9 millimeter doesn't have a lot of recoil, but with all this mass going back at you, uh, when the slide rocks backwards, I want to see how the recoil feels. So let's take a closer look at the firearm, and we'll go ahead and give you guys some specs right now. Uh, so once again, it does get a total of 8 plus 1 capacity if you carry it loaded. Uh, once again, we do get that magazine disconnect feature, which I'm not a big fan of. The overall length of the firearm is 6.75 inches. The barrel length is 3.5 inches. The weight with the firearm loaded comes to 29 ounces and uh, it's obviously a blowback operated firearm and uh, you know they're common for magazine issues is what I've seen a lot of people say that the magazines are kind of faulty so we're gonna go ahead and uh, clear every rumor down at the range I'll give you guys my honest opinion so let's take it down to the range let's do less talking let's see how it performs we're gonna shoot nothing but steel case ammunition it's the cheapest and it's usually not reliable, so if this firearm is going to fail, it's going to fail with steel case. So let's take it down to the range, continue watching. So we're back from the range. How did it go, Bulletproof Tactical? You guys saw the footage. The firearm actually performed better than I expected. We shot a high point once in the channel, the 380 carbine, and a lot of people bashed me on that video saying the, the firearms are great, that the issues I was experiencing were actually magazine issues. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, for $179, I actually kinda like the high point, you know? $179, it, you know, I can obviously buy a more expensive firearm. Uh, I don't know if I would carry this every day. But, you know, there's people that, you know, are on a budget and are not firearm enthusiasts. 
and are not willing to spend thousands of dollars on firearms. So if you're just looking for something affordable, reliable, and something you don't mind bashing, you know, this is probably a good option, you know. We only had one malfunction, which I could tell you, uh, it was when, when I was feeding the firearm, you guys can see uh, the firearm kind of seemed like it nosedived. So that's usually a magazine problem. It was a feeding issue. Kind of seemed like the bullet was nosediving. So that's usually uh, magazine issues. This is a factory magazine just for anyone in the comment section that bashed me on my last high point video. This is a factory magazine. I'm not saying the firearm was terrible. Just one malfunction out of 50 rounds we put through it. Not terrible. Did not lube this firearm right out of the box. I shot it. Once again, we shot the cheapest ammunition available. And, you know, usually anyone buying a high point is probably going to shoot the cheapest ammunition anyhow. So I think this test was uh, fair. And uh, also, as far as uh, the aesthetics go, well, it's an ugly firearm in my opinion, but you're not buying this once again for the looks. You're buying it uh, because of the price. As far as recoil goes, it does feel like you get more recoil than a regular, any other firearm that shoots nine millimeter. Just the sheer mass of the slide kind of kicks your hand back a little more just because it's such a massive slide so the recoil is definitely uh more noticeable with this firearm uh, as far as accuracy goes these sights look horrible but honestly once you're shooting it they're actually pretty good you know they look really funny especially since the dots are really small and you have such a massive slide it looks doesn't look proportional but it actually shoots really good, you know. I got to give it to High Point. Uh, this firearm's not all that terrible. Let me know in the comment sections. Would you guys buy this firearm? Have you guys had any experience with it? Is it terrible? I don't know. I would like to hear your comments. Uh, also, suggest me any firearms. If there's a cheaper one, shoot me a comment. I would love to review it. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.